everyone welcome back to my beach angel tarot shop i'm here to do my weekly reading and it is always focused on the energy of love romance and partnership we're looking at the week of december 20th through the 26th and so we're covering christmas in this upcoming week i did post a christmas special and full moon because christmas is full moon so this is a very special week uh, for both of those energies and we're going to see what special messages the angels have for everyone this week I'm going to be using a few decks this week, and we're going to see what comes up for everyone. With I'm going to be first using my um, Under the Rose Lenormand. I have my Kyle Gray Angel deck, my Romance Angels deck, and my Thelema deck. I just cannot leave my Thelema deck out of my reading this week. So we've got a lot of energies, a lot of different decks, a lot of different messages coming up for everyone. Um, it is my guidance that this next full moon on Christmas is we're going to all see a lot of changes um, in our love lives and in our own energies as well um, is what I've been being guided to from my spiritual team. So, um, of course, again, this is a general message, a general readings, but that is one of the main messages I wanted to get out before I started cutting the cards and shuffling. So we're going to see what, I'm going to just shuffle them as I go. I want to see what this, oh wow, that one came out. So that one first one came out was the dog and I'm just going to put him up here so a lot of loyalty a lot of um unconditional love loyalty is what our you know dog would give you um you know very loyal energy and you can see he's kind of holding the yellow rose and the yellow rose is all about friendship so it can be something and he's a puppy so something new starts as a friendship or maybe it started back um because I'm getting a nine combination it's something that could have been it's like an end of a cycle something that could have been from before that just started as a friendship but it's moving into a more ten of cards ten of cups full fulfillment within it um is what i'm getting from that combination and i just need to change this because that is distracting me a little bit so um that is the first card that came up and out of the deck and we're going to see what next message I feel like this one and wow the locket so very beautiful in combination because the locket is all about love it's the heart in the Lenormand and so there's a lot of love coming with this unconditional love and partnership for this upcoming week um I just want to see um stability and partnerships with the two which brings harmony in combination with the six and Eight and one is nine plus the ten is ten again, you know, eight, nine, ten. So it's a one again. So something new developing within something that's already been established back in its start as a friendship is what I'm getting for some. Now that can come for some, but it can just be a new friendship forming for those that are single coming forward. Um, perhaps right at the start of the year. I know we're looking at this week's reading, but like I said, this next full moon, after we move through that phase of the full moon, we're going to all start seeing energies come a little differently. Um, it's going to bring changes, so I definitely see that. This card also, for me, brings up the energy of um, memories, of something that we've kept um, near and dear to our hearts. We keep close to us. We keep it safe and secure. We take it with us always. It's that locket is where we put a picture of a special loved one and we carry it forward. So this is not just about love. It's about a love that is treasured and it's timeless. It's like a timeless piece that we keep with us. Almost like an, you know, like a keepsake is the word I'm trying to, to come up with there with the, all the energies that was coming at me. It's like a keepsake energy of love um, coming to us this coming week. So very interesting combination. And the 24th can be important. It can be Christmas. That's Christmas Eve. Um, so it can be that 24th is going to be important for some. It can be that maybe this is going to be a gift that you get from a friend. Maybe for some it's going to be that you literally get a locket or a keepsake from a, a beautiful unconditional love and friendship um, and partnership. This is the other card that's trying to come out here. We have spiritual gifts. So again, gifts are coming up. We were just talking about them in the form of a literal gift of a locket of a keepsake but we are seeing here um archangel raziel and it says thank you raziel for helping me channel my gifts and my talents so i'm getting it as gift um, especially since that's what we were just talking to so i do feel that some are going to receive a gift 
you may even be you know receiving the gift of the spirituality within the relationship and really sensing it we're seeing the heart chakra even though this looks like the solar chakra symbol right here on his heart chakra so we're seeing empowerment of the heart things lining up here and coming forward for us so beautiful message from the Carol gray duck i'm gonna see what is coming from the romance angels this week Nope, just two. I'm just saying two is good. So we're going to go with the two. And the first one is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So working together on something is important this week. Having a chance to work on something. Or having a chance is what I'm getting. There's a chance of maybe coming together um, this week. And it says free yourself. Time to take back control of your life. Now, this card to me is not usually about freeing yourself from a relationship. It's all about having the relationship's magic. As you can see, the unicorn is very mystical. It's very magical. Uh, it's the energy of miracles, something that we don't normally see. The unicorn's energy exists, but we don't see it with our human eyes. Um, and it's contained. As you can see, it's very much protected. So that magic is protected here is what I'm getting in this combination. And... I feel you're going to be, it's going to be freeing itself on this week. And it's going to be a gift from spirit um, coming to you. So for some, this is going to come as a literal gift, a tangible gift, like a locket, a piece of jewelry, something that you wanted. For some, this is going to be, you're going to be sensing and seeing more of a um, connection spiritually with your partner um, is what I'm getting from spirit. And I'm going to see where the Philema takes us for this week. I'm focusing on the, there's two here and we have the eight of cups. And so there we are moving towards that full moon. Even though this isn't the moon card, it's very prevalent here. And um, I feel it can be the, Eight and the eights around the full moon. So like eight days leading up to the full moon, eight days leading away from the full moon can be important um, is what I'm getting. Because this is a journey. It's a spiritual journey. It's like leaving something behind. But for me, because of the full moon so prevalent on this card, I feel it's like something leading up to it and something leading out the other side of it. Um, so for some, you may see this starting towards the full moon. And for some, you may see it starting past the full moon. Here we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands to me is all about, of course, it's about partnership. In readings, in relationship readings, it's always my guidance. It's the two flames, you know, because it's obvious. It's that, you know, um, you know, one flame, one partner, one the other flame. This is, this is Wands. This is the fire energy. So it's that twin flame partnership. And it's just as I said, it's a spiritual journey around this final um, this final moon phase and leading up to it and then going off away from it you're going to see changes around these types of partnerships that are very very important and important to your spiritual journey um where you're headed you know it's not it's not about turning your back on it but it's about what leads up to it and again this full moon is what i've been guided and it's again how spirit is showing me before i start the reading and how they show me afterward but these partnerships are important and they have an important aspect within our spiritual journey and the moon, this the moon is always important, of course, but this final one this year for some reason is going to be very, very important moving forward. And you're going to start feeling the effects moving up into it and out away from it and then onward into 2016. So, and it's that very magical energy that has been kept contained um, here. You're going to start to see it be freed. You're going to start to see that magic gift between you and you know that chance is coming in that partnership it is going to maybe still require some work on your part so if you're already in that relationship all this is transpiring if you're not in that relationship i feel it's going to start to you're going to start to see the effects of it in your journey forward into 2016 which is kind of where i've been going with the readings um for the last little while where spirit has been taking me anyway um so i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you have a beautiful week merry christmas and do watch my other reading um, that I posted for my Christmas love special. 
And I'm sending everyone angel blessings, oceans of love, and Merry Christmas.